Hey guys, today we're going to cover the last conic section that we haven't covered yet, which is parabolas. So you might be used to seeing parabolas as y equals x squared. This time around, the equations are going to be pretty different than what you're used to. So we have two different types depending on which direction it's opening up. So let's look at this first type, a horizontal parabola. So this would be when it's opening either to the left or to the right like this. So the equation that you're going to use is y minus k squared equals 4p parentheses x minus h. So if p is greater than 0, so when I say p, we're looking at this number here. Um, it's opening to the right. If it's less than 0, so that means negative numbers, it's going to open to the left. In fact, let's do this, plus minus. Okay, if it's vertical, so over here, the equation kind of changes a little bit. This time it's x first, so x minus h squared equals 4py minus k. And same thing, that letter p, whatever number is there, determines which way this is going to open. If it's a positive number, so p greater than 0, it's going to open up. If it's less than 0, so that's negative numbers, it's going to open down. Okay, a few other things in the equation that you need to know. Um, HK, so that's inside the parentheses here. That's the vertex of our parabola. So looking at those pictures, I'm going to put V for vertex right there. So vertical is what we're more used to seeing, so that would be either the minimum or the maximum. For horizontal, it's where it changes directions. The focus, I'm sorry, the vertex is absolute value of p units away from the focus and the directrix. So what that means is, I mean, looking at our pictures, that point that's inside the parabola, that's our focus. And then this dotted line here, that's the directrix. So we know that from the vertex to the directrix, that's p units. From the vertex to the focus, that's also p units. So p to the left, p to the right when it's horizontal. Over here, same deal, it's just a, another direction. This point inside the parabola is the focus. The line is the directrix. So I know it's p units up to get to the focus, p units down to get to the directrix. Okay. This is a new vocabulary word right here. The lattice rectum is a segment that connects the parabola's curve, but it passes through the focus, so through the focus, and points on the curve. It's going to have a length of 4p, or I should say absolute value of 4p. So even if it's a negative number, that's the length of the lattice rectum. So 4p will come from the entire thing that's inside or outside of the parentheses. So if I look at my pictures, let's draw this in. So I have to go through the focus like this, but endpoints are on the parabola. So I'm going to put LR, that's the lattice rectum. Again, so endpoints on the parabola, but going through the focus. LR, because that's the lattice rectum, and it has a length of 4P. Length of 4P. Okay, so for today's video, all I want to do is graph two examples of parabolas when they are written in this form. So I have my steps listed here, five steps. Always make sure your equation is written in standard form, so it's written like the form that I had up here. That way you can determine the direction of the parabola. Is it going to be horizontal? Is it going to be vertical? Graph the vertex, that's HK. We need to solve for P to determine the direction of the opening. So up here, I determine whether it's vertical or horizontal. Down here, I determine whether it's up, down, left, or right. Then absolute value of P, I can use that to graph the focus in the directrix. Step four, use absolute value of 4p to graph the endpoints of the lattice rectum. 
And then after I have all this stuff, I can sketch the entire parabola. So let's look at our first example. We have y minus 1 squared equals negative 16 x minus 5. So first thing I want to determine, is this vertical or is this horizontal? So notice that it starts with the y. So I'm going to look at my two equations from up above. Um, this one starts with an x. This one starts with a y. So that means that this is going to be a horizontal parabola. It's either going to open left or it's going to open right. So I'm just going to, to the side right here, let's write horizontal. Okay, now if I'm following my steps, next thing it says is to graph the vertex. So vertex, I get from inside of the parentheses. But just be careful, it's always HK, but you don't just go in order HK. H is always with the X, K is always with the Y. So HK is going to be 5, 1. So let's graph that point, 5, 1. Okay, next step, let's see what we have to do. It says solve for P to determine the direction of the opening. So when it says solve for P, remember that the equation, what's outside of the parentheses is 4P. I have a negative 16 outside. So if 4P is equal to negative 16, I would divide both sides by 4. That means that P is equal to negative 4. So what does it mean when P is negative? So back to up here, right here. When P is negative, it's going to open up to the left. So opens left. OK. Um, I don't need that yet, but it's good to know. What else is part of that step three? It says use the absolute value of P, so four, to graph the focus and the directrix. So absolute value of negative four is just four. We're gonna, since this is horizontal, we're gonna go four to the left and four to the right. One of these is the directrix, one of these is the focus. So since my parabola is gonna open left, so it's gonna open this direction, Focus is always on the inside. So that means at this point to the left, that's the focus. And then this other dot, that's the directrix. I'm going to move that F over just because I know we're going to have to go through there in a little bit. So it's right in here. OK. Mm, what else do we need? So we're on step four now. Use the absolute value of 4p to graph the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So lattice rectum, LR, you use the absolute value of 4p. We know that 4p up here was negative 16. If I get the absolute value, that would just be 16. So going through the focus, here's my focus, I need to have a segment that's 16 units long. So if that's the middle, I need to go eight up and eight down. So eight up, eight down. I'm gonna draw this as a dotted line. That's the lattice rectum. So now that I have all this, I can sketch my parabola. So starting at my vertex, I'm going to make my pen a little bit thicker so we can see. Starting on my vertex, I know that it's opening left, and it has to go through those endpoints of that dotted line. So something like this. So it's a pretty wide parabola. It probably could go a little more. I stopped early. And that's a horizontal parabola there. All right, let's do another example. So second one, x minus 4 squared 
equals 4y plus 3. Determine which direction it's going. So since it starts with an x, I'm going to look up here. So this one starts with an x. That means it's going to be vertical. Okay, let's start by graphing its vertex. That'll be hk. So that's inside the parentheses. This will be 4, negative 3. Always use the opposite sign, so look at that. Okay, so let's put that vertex in. 4, negative 3. V for vertex. Okay, now we need to solve for 4P. 4P is equal to whatever's here in this spot. So it's just equal to 4. If I divide both sides by 4, then P equals 1. This is a vertical parabola. So that means that I need to go one unit up and one unit down for the focus and the directrix. But I don't know whether my parabola is opening up or down yet. So I'm going to test that out with right here. P is equal to 1. So when I look here, 1 is greater than 0. That's a positive number. So that means our parabola is going to open up. Like this. So that means that the point at the bottom, that is the directrix. I'll put a D. And this number right here, that's our focus. Okay, and then last thing I need to do is find a lattice rectum. And that's always absolute value of 4P. So in this one, it's just going to be 4. So starting with the focus, I'm going to go two units to the left, two units to the right. I'm going to connect this with a dotted line. That's the LR. So now I can sketch my parabola by using those two points as a guide. It kind of tells you how wide you need to draw your parabola, just kind of continue the pattern. All right, and that's our vertical parabola.